It's time to take a look at our top stories. A wave of shootings is putting Allendale County on edge. One killed a 14 year old girl. Another left an officer injured and a third hurt an 11 year old. Officers have not said whether there's a link between the shootings. We learned more about the teen killed over the weekend. Markayla Roberts was asleep when she was hit by a bullet that came from outside her home. Her family says about 19 bullets were fired off of Bayshore Drive in Fairfax. We also found out she was heavily involved in junior ROTC, loved to draw and plan to graduate early. Now her autopsy is expected to happen today. The violence is also impacting the school district. The Allendale County School District boosted security this week. Students had to be screened and officials restricted what they could bring to school, but Superintendent Dr. Valerie Cave thanked them all for cooperating. Today's screenings will continue. Students can bring their school issued devices with clear backpacks, but personal devices will be taken away. As for the shootings, Allendale officers are asking you to call the number on your screen if you know anything. You can also send them to the email address. Tips can stay anonymous. New this morning, South Carolina troopers say one person is dead after a crash last night not far away from Orangeburg. It happened on Bickner Bridge Road just before 930 when a car crossed over the double line and crashed into a pickup truck. Troopers say the car's driver died. The truck's driver and passenger were taken to the hospital. We've reached out to the Orangeburg County Coroner for more information. A large crowd stood outside of a Charlotte hospital last night to salute those involved in a deadly shooting. U.S. Marshals with officers from multiple agencies tried to serve a warrant in East Charlotte yesterday around 1.30. When they got there, officials say a man started shooting from inside the home. As soon as authorities fired back, neighbors took cover wherever they could. Officials say four law enforcement officers were killed. Charlotte officers say the man did leave the house still armed and authorities shot him. They say he died in the front yard. Remember, early voting for Georgia's May primary election is happening now. Early voting centers are open from 830 to 6 in Richmond County, then 8 to 5 in Columbia County. This lasts until May 17th, the Friday before the election. You also have until May 10th to apply for an absentee ballot. If you need to know where you can go vote and which days, you can head to WRDW.com. And a heads up, there's going to be a graduation ceremony this afternoon. Aiken Tech's class of 2024 has more than 400 graduates ready to walk across the stage for their degree. It'll be inside USC Aiken's Convocation Center at 7 o'clock. Doors open two hours ahead of time and it will be live streamed. 